Defense Minister K. Antony has termed the actions of the Pakistan Army as highly provocative, while the BJP has called on the government to name and shame Pakistan in the international forum. Pakistan's army's action is highly provocative and the way treated the dead body of the soldiers, Indian soldiers, is inhuman. We will convey our protest to the Pakistan government and our DGMO will talk to the his counterpart in Pakistan. We are closely monitoring the situation. Well, our National Affairs Editor Shinjoy Chaudhary joins us on the story. Shinjoy, we also believe uh, the Park Army unit has been identified uh, as 29 Baloch Regiment, but Pakistan continues to stay in denial. Well, that could well be. But uh, what we have heard from the Indian Army is that this is the battalion which is directly opposite uh, the Rajputana uh, rifles battalion that was there and uh, therefore uh, the finger of suspicion points towards 29 Baloch. Uh, that is the point that has been made very very clearly uh, to the Indian side. I mean uh, uh, by the Indian side. No, but then what are the measures that are going to be taken Shinjoy? Because the government has said that they are uh, they are summoning the Parker uh, you know, envoy and uh, they are sending out a message, but are they going to take it up globally and uh, make sure that Pakistan does not uh, indulge in such barbarism in future? Uh, well, the point is, the first thing India has to do is, India has to do itself. And India has to do uh, uh, certain things to make sure that Pakistan gets a message and this is never done again. That's the first thing. The second thing, as you rightly said, uh, is the... Um, uh, is reaching out to the global community, uh, informing the global community what really happened. Because you, it's one thing to fire from across the line of control. Hmm. It's another thing to enter Indian territory and kill two Indian soldiers, which is unexpect, uh, unacceptable. The third thing is to mutilate bodies of Indian soldiers, which is not acceptable at all. And that is what the Indian government and the Indian army has to make very clear to the Pakistani side. Now, there is a team of UN observers on both sides. There is the UNHRC which will take into cognizance this act by Pakistan. There is one petition where uh, you have uh, Dr. N.K. Kalia also already challenging the brutalities meted out during Kargil war on Saurav Kalia and five other soldiers. This is the latest effort. Do you think the UN and some uh, the, the observers should take so much of cognizance and take, uh, take or, or should India uh, ask the UN observers to also take cognizance of this behavior by the Pakistani soldiers? Well, there are uh, a large number of UN observers in Pakistan, uh, in uh, Jammu and Kashmir, and there is no dispute about that. This is something that they have to look at in any case. Uh, but uh, when India has to uh, look at it globally, uh, it's not to these, uh, these uh, UN observers in Kashmir. Uh, it, has to be, uh, it has to be at a global level, and it has to be uh, at a global forum and uh, by a high-level Indian official or member of the government. And that will probably happen later. But the first two things, of course, are, is the DGMO uh, uh, conversation. And then, of course, uh, uh, this has already happened, the, the conversation between uh, the foreign secretary, who has already uh, lodged a protest, and, of course, the Pakistan High Commissioner.